Welcome, this is your boy King Deniex. This actually is the fourth time I'm recording this tutorial because I'm trying to make it short. I recorded it and realized it was an hour tutorial, so I'm gonna cut it short. And this is part two of the frequency separation tutorial. This time I'm gonna show you how to actually use frequency separation. Last time I was showing you how to create actually the group, but this time I'm gonna show you how to use it. Okay, this is our image. You just continue from here. As you can see, let me bring back the group. I actually created an action for that. Uh, select action. I think here it was around, let's just put it around 8. It doesn't really matter. The first thing we do is just open here on your FS group. And then you come to adjustment layer or down here. Search for curves yes curves here and then this is it's just a simple technique to actually see the black spot on the skin so from input just gonna select input on curves and just put it right here uh, if i'm missing anything else guys i'm trying to make this tutorial a bit shorter the last one was long 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 i just deleted it after realizing it was about 30 to an hour actually so you're just gonna drag your input on the dark side on curves like this until your skin looks like uh, you over edited it and then you come to your highlights and also drag it here and then from here come to your high and then you come to blending or blending modes and then you select uh, normal you normalize your high then from here now you can see the black spots here uh, okay the next thing after you're done doing this you come to your spot healing tool Spot healing tool which is J on your keyboard. Uh, if you can't see the circle here, just press unlock caps lock on your keyboard. And to zoom in, just press control plus or control minus to zoom out. So control plus, we have to see all the dark spots here. And then since you have selected uh, the spot healing brush tool, come to mode. You can also use it on normal, but I like putting it on lighten uh, to kill the, the dark spot and darken to kill the light spot. So let's just select lighten and then you're just gonna keep on selecting here to increase and decrease the size of your brush. You just have to right click anywhere and then just increase the pixel. Okay. There's also a short a keyboard shortcut, which is uh, I think it's square yeah square bracket in and out. It's gonna decrease and increase your brush size. So you're gonna continue doing this on your model space until they are no longer dark spot. I'm just gonna fast forward this video. And let me tell you she Okay guys, let's say you're done removing all the dark spot and the light spot on your model skin. And you come here to curves and just delete the curves and then you come to high on your FS group. And then you go back to blending mode and then you come to linear light and then we're back here. And if you done it correctly, you'll see all the dark spot will be invisible. So you can still continue with your stamp healing brush tool even if you have deleted the caps adjustment layer. Let's say you're done. Next thing you come to tones, and then from your tones, and you press B on your keyboard to come to brush. So the brush option, make sure your flow is on 6%. My flow is on 6%. Actually, make sure your flow is below 10%. You can actually put it on 7, doesn't matter. We're gonna sample skin tone and then paint with it. Decrease your brush tool a bit. Don't use a smaller brush size. Okay, from here, I'm just gonna sample the skin here. In order to sample, just press Alt on the keyboard and then you'll see this eyedropper tool and then select here. As you can see, it's sampled here. Just paint around this part. Make sure that whenever you're using this technique, don't overdo it 
in such a way that uh, you can't see the edges of the face okay just select here just sample here as you can see this is also a dark spot actually this is part of our skin just gonna use it then just gonna sample here paint with it here you keep doing this to the face until you are satisfied with whatever you are doing she ain't talking to nobody she don't want nobody she just want me okay, let's say you are done with your tones the next thing you're just gonna double click here and then this menu will show up layer style and then you just come to blending option and then you come to blend if it has to be gray and then you come below here you have to adjust this in order to split this you have to select alt and then just select here it's gonna break into a part and then you come this side also alt and then click and then just drag then you just press ok Okay, as you can see before after so let me zoom out you have to zoom out to see actually if you've done too much of it or actually less before or after okay looks like i done too much come to opacity and just bring it below 40 before after okay we are done with the with the tones now we come to low Actually, this is the part where it makes the skin smooth. It blends the shadows between the shadows and the highlight, uh, highlight tones. So, you select low and then you come to Lieso tool. Is it a Lieso tool? Just press L in your keyboard. You're just going to create a circle here between your shadows and highlights. And then you come to filter and then blur, Gaussian blur. And then make sure that when you're dragging this, uh, you don't overdo it. Make sure this is below 20 20 pixels. The radius is below 20 pixels on your collision player. So usually I like it around 16 pixel. Let me just create here as you can see here. See what's happening. Just here. Because here I'm blending the shadows and the highlights as you can see. Some parts you don't want to overdo them. Okay, come to the forehead, something like this. Then 16. Actually, I created a Gaussian blur shortcut, which for me is F3. You can you just come here and then keep a shortcut and create your own shortcut, actually. And uh, don't overdo this technique or any technique on frequency separation because it's gonna make you look like an amateur and then to this leg just press ctrl D then zoom out uh, as you can see we are done with our frequency separation but before you can confirm that you're done just come to low and decrease the opacity to around it depends on what you're actually looking for just gonna put it around 68 okay guys so we are done with frequency separation actually this is the final step this actually was requested by a friend on facebook just gonna tell him that i've already done the tutorial i'm gonna post it on my channel anytime soon when you're watching this is already posted so yeah leave comments and requests for future tutorials thank you please subscribe